my name is Dr. Casey. I'm a trauma surgeon. I'm going to show you guys how to do a two-handed knot tie. Okay, so if you've got two, uh, when you want your strings, the short string should be on the right and the long string could be on the left, okay? So you take your index finger and you bring it, cross it over and then you bring your thumb up underneath and then you catch this string in your right hand in your index finger and thumb and you bring it down. And then this hand goes down like that. And that's a nice laying flat. Now the second throw, you bring your thumb and you bring it across like that. And then you bring your index finger down and then you catch it like this and bring it up. And then your hand goes up to tie it to get a nice square. So then you can repeat that. Down. And up. And that's a nice square knot. I recommend tying at least four knots every time you tie. You can either tie up and down or you can tie side to side. It just depends on what you're, what you're trying to tie. Um, so again, you want the, uh, the left, left string long and this is a, just a normal suture. And see, when, when you're messing around, that's when it can get loose. And if it's loose and you tie it, then you kind of get this loose tie right there. So sometimes you don't want that. And that's why you do a surgeon's knot to get it really tight. So a surgeon's knot, a surgeon's knot is you get tension on that first one. It's, uh, it's better to get, if you need your first knot to be tight, you can go one and then you just repeat that and go two. Now you've got two there and that makes it real tight so that when you square it with your second one, it is nice and square. And then you just repeat just one single one after that. There you go. Now here's the surgeon knot. I can do one, two, and see now when I tie it tight, it kind of it stays tight a little bit better. <laughs> and that's how it looks on normal suture. I, I kind of I I I've heard that so many times before about like don't start with a one-handed tie. But I feel like it's whatever, whatever works best for you. So it's, it's just, you know, you're, you have to tie in so many different um, circumstances. It's just whatever is the quickest for you. Um, you know, it's the same result. It's just, I think whatever works best. I almost exclusively use one-handed ties too. So one-handed tie for me you cross over and bring it up and your hand goes down and then you kind of lay it on top of your two fingers and you have to do this tricky move where you then you catch it like that and bring it up and then your hand goes up. So you get the same result but uh, you can just use the one hand.
I think the advantage of the two hand tie is the is that surgeon's knot where you can um, where you can really bring it around twice to get nice tension on it. I think that's the big advantage, the one hand versus two hand. So whether you're doing one handed tie or two handed tie, it just you have to get good at what you're doing. And if you're confident doing it, then it's gonna work in the real world. Thank you guys. And be safe out there.